We've got some fresh new young talent. This is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark Sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath, stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding So 
I'm surprised they're all still walking. That was exhausting. I was in the wings and there was so much energy off stage as there was on stage. Congratulations. That was absolutely fantastic. I know you've, um, MLC have, have performed in Wakakiri many times, but how many times have you performed in Wakakiri now? This would be my ninth one this year. Your ninth. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Well done. And yours? Eight. And? You're nine, nine, eight, and nine. Fantastic, congratulations. Wasn't that spectacular? <laughs> it was wonderful. So who have we got up first? We've got Jasmine. Jasmine, can, I, um, can you just reiterate and just a little bit of, uh, more, for those who may not know Ju Judy Garland, just tell us a little bit more about that wonderful story you told tonight. So this year our school has chosen to use the classic film of The Wizard of Oz as a metaphor to depict the iconic actress Judy Garland's tumultuous life to authentically portray the unspoken horrors of the glamorous lifestyle she lived in Hollywood. So our piece reflects the historical injustices of the Hollywood industry during the Golden Age and the terrors of what happened behind the scenes, which obviously wasn't shown in films. Well done, thank you. Thank you for that. And Georgia, can you just, uh, just reiterate to us the initiatives that your school took to support that wonderful piece that we saw tonight? So at MLC, we have reused and recycled. So our sets have been used over the past five years, as well as certain costume pieces. MLC has also increased engagement of Waikikiri by sharing our performance with our school through our showcase, and we also increased engagement through our junior school dance program, which also participated in Waikikiri this year, and has allowed us to collaborate with younger year groups. As well as our school being a round square school, our dance program is underpinned by character education and personal discoveries. As well as a round square school, we are also committed to be tenacious and show courage while performing, and I feel like we definitely did that tonight. You certainly did. Congratulations. <laughs> Amisha, I'm sure there's many people that you want to acknowledge tonight. Please, please do that. So before I get, begin the thank yous, I would just like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land the um, Darug people, and I would like to say a huge thank you to all our teachers, Miss Skepper, Miss Drady, Miss Jess, Miss Maya, Miss Afamia, and Miss Claudia, and they really made this entire production possible, and without them, it would not be as good as it was. I would also like to thank the entertainment girls for their hard work behind the scenes and for the sets as they really communicate our story, and of course, to all the girls dancing, because I know how hard each and everyone worked to make this the best performance. And a special mention to our school execs because they came all the way from school to support us, as well as all the parents who have been so helpful and supportive to all the girls throughout the year. And a biggest thank you to Wakakiri for hosting this event and giving us the opportunity to perform as we really appreciate it. And of course we can't forget, up the tillies. Absolutely. <laughs> 